Okay, as you know from the last video, what I decided to do was save the images as ping files from Photoshop and then import them one by one into Flash. And that's worked out better than trying to import through the Photoshop document. I'm not exactly sure what I was doing wrong. I tried doing it with, uh, instead of a lossy compression, using a lossless compression, but it still didn't come in very nicely. So I'm just going to stick with it this way. Okay, so time to make our animation. And what I've done here is I've set up another layer here. So there's my background layer where I have these gray boxes. So I'm going to lock that layer. And now I'm on layer 2. And I just go to my library and drag out my first image. Okay, and so I've got this image right here. All right. And what I'm going to do first thing is notice how the transparency is quite nice on it. I'll just put it into position. All right. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to convert it to a movie clip. So uh, I select it, and then uh, modify, convert to symbol, and make it a movie clip registration mark in the upper left-hand corner. And I'll just call it symbol 1. That's fine. And click OK. And now it's a movie clip, right? And what essentially I want to happen is I want this to exist on the stage. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to, um, let's say, 30, frame 30, and hit F6 on my keyboard to insert a keyframe. And on my background, I'm going to hit a 5 layer so that now the background exists, right, at the same time. And then um, right here is where I will start fading her out. So what I'll do is I will um, go 10 more frames out, let's say, or let's say 15 frames out, and hit F6. And that'll put another keyframe. Of course, I need... Once again, to add more frames on my background, F5. All right, and so right here is where I'll start the fade out. So uh, here we have it 100% um, alpha. And on this next keyframe, what I'll do is select her, go down to my property window, go to alpha, and take the alpha down to zero. Okay, and now she's disappeared. So now to make it fade from here, alpha 100%. Notice if I go down here, click on her, alpha. You'll see that, oh, no, not zero. I want her to be alpha 100. So she's alpha 100 here, over here. She's alpha zero. Now all I have to do is go to the first keyframe between the two, go down to my property window, and say tween motion. Okay, and that sets up a motion tween whereby she will fade out. Okay, so she exists on the stage for a while and then will fade out. Okay? So if I hit enter on my keyboard I can play it. You'll see that yes indeed fades out. Okay, quite nice. So as she fades out someone else will fade in, that type of thing. And what I need to do is go to my other animation and look to see how many keyframes I did this on. So I see that she exists, this person existed my other one they existed for 35 frames and then faded out for 30 frames and my movie was frame rate was at 20 frames per second so on my new movie I'll probably do the other thing because those settings seem to work out nicely so I'll click on my background area the gray area in the background change my frames per second to 20 in the property window alright 20 hit enter and I will make sure that I, what I'll do is I'll click here and hit F5 to add more frames. So she she lasts on stage till 35. And then I'll click in here and hit F5. Make her ex and make it last until 65. Okay, on the bottom layer, I'll hit F5 to add more frames. Okay, so now I'm mimicking what happened in the other one. So there we go. She'll be there and then she'll fade out. Okay, I'm going to need probably another um, music singer or two. And if I'm going to do um, motion tweens like I did here, you can only do one motion tween for one sprite or one character on the stage per layer. So I'll need a new layer. So I'll make a new layer, go into my library, and grab my next character, let's say, and See, we got Glenn Campbell here. That might work out okay. Um, 
what I might want to do with Glenn is flip him, modify, let's see here, transform, flip horizontal, put him at the end there so his shoulder matches up with the end of the movie, perhaps. Okay. And then I'll convert him to a um, movie clip. So I select him, hit F8 on my keyboard to convert to a movie clip. All right. Okay, there he is. All right, so now he's a movie clip. And now I could just do the same thing. I'll go here and hit F6 at 35. All right, scroll over and hit F6 at 65. All right, and then select him and go to alpha and take it down to zero. Go to my previous keyframe and do a motion tween. So now they they both will fade out at the same time. Okay, remove frames here. I can remove frames here. All right. So now they both fade out at the same time, but there's kind of a gap in between them, so I think I'm going to need one more. So I make a new layer and go to my library. And I need to find maybe one other person. Okay, I've got that. That's pretty good. I'll probably get another two, actually. That looks pretty good. Hit F8 to convert it to a movie clip. All right, and it's the same scenario as before. Close my library. Put in my keyframes. F6, so we're going to play until here. And that's where we'll start our transformation. It'll go to here, F6. Select him. Alpha. Zero. Previous keyframe. Motion tween. All right, and then I can delete these extra frames by right-clicking on them and removing frames. Okay, so I have all three characters fading out at the same time, and I just need to add one more. And we'll come back in the next movie, and I'll show you how to cross-dissolve to fade in the next one.